Hi, welcome to the Victoria Art Gallery. I'm Jim Risley, the museum assistant, and I'm going to talk to you today about works by women artists in the collection. Therese Lesor was born in Brighton uh, to an artistic family. Her grandfather was a decorator at Wedgwood and her father was a French artist. She was taught at Slade School of Arts and then went to a school run by artists Walter Sickert and Sylvia Goss. Her paintings of theatres and circuses brought her to the attention of the art world. She was a frequent visitor to the World's Fair Circus in Islington and drew on these experiences later on when she was in Bath. These themes uh, resonated with uh, Sickert's dimly lit theatre crowds and they were greatly admired by the elder artist. She was associated with the Camden Art Group, uh, a group of artists that centred around Walter Sickert, yet her art was uh, distinctly different. The brushwork was finer, more nuanced. The pastel shades of her palette were more varied. After Sickert's wife died, uh, they became closer and um, it became romantic uh, and they married in 1926. Lesor's reputation is often overshadowed by Sickert's, and yes, at this point, they, they were painting in very similar styles uh, and painting often the same street scenes. It is not simply that one was imitating the other. The relationship was more collaborative. Lesor would often photograph scenes in the streets, which Sickert could then translate onto canvas at home. It is likely that in paintings like London Street by Sickert's, that uh, Lesor would have been applying the background layers uh, to the canvas before Sickert went to paint it. For each of them, the colours became more muted and grey, and you can see that in the painting behind me from 1942, The Reflective Horse, where the colours are very muted. 1942 was the year of the Bath Blitz, and you can see behind the horse uh, the building being rebuilt, uh, having been bombed. The scene may be familiar, it's, it's in the colonnades just above the pump room. Sickert was very encouraging of uh, women artists and encouraged them to be taught under him at his school and encouraged them to follow a career. Artists like Colossor and Sylvia Goss would actually you know, accompany him as he went on painting trips. We don't know how much input uh, Lesor had in Sickert's work at this point, um, but certainly her story is intertwined with Sickert's. And it's not until recently that her work has been reappraised in its own right. And, and she's been seen as a, an artist of great quality, but has been overlooked because of Sickert's influence. Mm -hmm. 